first of all, we know what Drake is going through with this whole sort of like Travis Scott Astro World Festival because Drake was performing as well. And so Kanye West makes this video. I just like, I don't know, Kanye's a special person with Jay Prince, right? Larry Hove Jr. He makes this like video. I'm going to play it right quick, real quick here. But before we get into that, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. It really pushes this video out in the algorithm and encourages me to make more videos. This video is brought to you by Brand Video Pro. We help brands and influencers scale their influence and sales. So if that is of interest to you, head on over to our website, click the link down below and find out how we can help you. All right, let's begin. Yo, this is Jay and Jay Prince. I'm making this video to address the ongoing back and forth between myself and Drake. Uh, both me and Drake have taken shots at each other and it's time to put it to rest. I'm asking Drake on December 7th to join me on stage as a special guest to share the two biggest albums of the year live in Los Angeles with the ultimate purpose being to free Larry Hoover. I believe this event will not only bring awareness to our cause but prove to people everywhere how much more we can accomplish when we lay our pride to the side and come together. Beautiful. So the first thing is like Drake is not from Chicago. So like Larry Hoover, I mean, I just don't know that he's a person of impact to someone like Drake. And then secondly, like Drake is dealing with a lot right now. Like and then thirdly, you have his number. If you wanted him to participate in this, why don't you call him? Why are you doing it on social media to put pressure on him when he's dealing with people that just died in Astro World? Like it's deep. It's deep. But um, most importantly, like, I feel like the cause, like, I, I, let me look at the Larry Hove Jr. I know, like, this guy was a gangster, and then he was put in jail. But he's obviously, like, the U.S. jail system, they put him in jail for way too long, which is ridiculous. Yeah. So Larry Hoover is an American gang leader, co-founder of the Chicago Street Gang, Gangster's Disciple, Gangster Disciples. Hoover is serving six life sentences at the ADX Florence prison in Florence, Colorado. Ridiculous. Six life sentences? Six? Okay. So this is, I get it. It's This is not about Larry Hoover Jr. This is about the U.S. Um, the U.S. court system and putting black men in jail. That's really what it's about. But I feel like that's what you should have said. You should have said it's about that, not just like Larry Hoover, you know, because it's so much bigger than him. This is six life sentences. But wait a minute. How many people did he kill? Because, like, I guess you get maybe each person that he murdered. Like, I guess, like, what was his crime? But either way, like, okay, so my point is that I, it, what does this have to do with Drake? He's from Toronto, he's not even from America. You know, he's from, he's from Canada. He lives in Toronto. What does it have to do with him? Apart from, okay, fair enough. It does have a lot to do with him because I imagine he's very much ingrained in the black American community here, has like a lot of employees in the community, a lot of friends in the community. So it makes sense for him to want to fight for this. But it's like, I just think the timing is just so inappropriate you know about the eight people that died <laughs> Drake was performing that day. I just don't think it's like right now is the appropriate time to be asking him, to be putting pressure on him, to be asking him the way that he's asking him. Like if you want to ask him for a favor, call his number. Don't put pressure on him so that social media would pressure him to do this. Like Kanye just knows how to like get publicity, man. All right, so update since I recorded this video looks like Kanye got what he wanted. Drake did go, uh, Drake did invite him to his home. Dave Chappelle made a video at Drake's Toronto home. We know his home is massive, big, big home in Toronto. It looks like he has like a, a stage, a performance place. So Dave Chappelle is on the mic and he's talking about Drake being there, uh, them being in Drake's home and, you know, how he came up from fame and Kanye being there. We see a video of Kanye and Jake, Drake hanging out, having fun together. And it's great to see it. You know, I, I can imagine how many people in the industry, especially P. Diddy, all the other people, all the vet veterans in the industry that have kind of watched how beef turns into people dying. 
um, you know, and people getting shot, which is like really unfortunate. And just, you know, today it was announced, well, today that I'm, you know, recording this is November 17th. And today, unfortunately, young Dolph was killed, shot and killed. May his soul rest in peace. So terrible. And just that gang culture and hip hop, it's so unfortunate. And, you know, we want to believe it's the way of the past, but it's not. When it comes to Drake and Kanye, I mean, Kanye said it in in, in, a, in his interview um, that it is professional rap. So with them, it's not a matter of, you know, shootings and killings or anything like that, but it's more of like subliminal lyrics in, you know, but it's really great to see the two of them together, uh, to the two of them. <sighs> making content to, or, or at least being together supporting this cause that is very very important um to put an end to sort of like jailing black men it's really it's a great cause um and i'm excited to see what comes of this uh are they going to make new music together what does this mean about collaborations you know i'm not sure if there's anyone else signed to good music uh but potentially you know this just means that they can make music together and they're two of some of the best artists on the planet uh, so them making music together is fantastic. And so I think it's just great to see that, you know, Kanye's strategy, as much as I will always point out, it's a marketing uh, scheme. Look, it worked. And and you know what? It's for a good cause. It's for a very important cause. So I'm glad to see it. Anyway, those are my thoughts on that. And uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. But what are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. My name is Kenneth, and see you next time. Peace.